students today we are dealing with trigonometry we know what is trigonometry trigono trigono means it refers to the triangle or we can say triangle sides right and metron means measurement so we are measuring the triangle sides that is nothing but trigonometry how the sides are measuring how the angles of a um, of a triangle so the those are all the things we will study in this chapter trigonometry we already know that there are different types of angles right so in order to remember each and every angle of uh, ratios like in trigonometry sine with respect to the uh, sine or cos or tan cosec or sec like functions it is very difficult so there is a cool trick to remember this kind of uh, not all angles only the standard angles like 0 to 90 0 30 45 60 and 90 let us look at this how those are uh, how those can be easily remembered uh, let us look at this so for that for that just just you take your only your hand hand is necessary okay hand just keep your hands hand like this in this position as like this if you keep your hand like this now you start from you start from little finger to thumb as 0 30 45 60 and 90 you mark like that okay after marking like that Suppose I want to calculate sine 45. I want to calculate sine 45. For that, I, I am crossing this finger or you can fold that finger. Okay. You can fo hold, that fo hold that finger and then you observe. When you hold the finger, you can see the number. You can see the angles below the finger and angles above the finger. Right. So, if I, if I fold this finger middle finger exactly then there are two below fingers and two above fingers right so now i want to calculate sine 45 so for that i close the middle finger right after closing the middle finger what i do is just i am taking sine theta as like this sine theta is equal to square root of below fingers upon two that means I am going to write this sine theta is equal to square root of how many below fingers are there here? 1 and 2, right? So, square root of below fingers upon 2, right? So, root 2 upon 2. That is root 2 by root 2 whole square, okay? Square and root, uh, 1 root 2, 1 root 2 cancel, okay? So, 1 upon root 2. This is the value of sine 45. In this way, we can calculate the sine value. So, in order to calculate the sine theta, what you do? Just you go on counting the, uh, you fold the middle, you fold the finger for which angle you are going to find and then you go on counting the below fingers and then square, sine theta is equal to square root of below fingers total uh, divided by 2. If you take like that, you, will, you can easily calculate sine theta value let us take now cos theta now cos theta i am going to calculate look at this now the position is same of your fingers okay and the marking of angles is also same okay and now you keep in the same position and same angles now look at this suppose i want to calculate cos 45 here i want to calculate cos 45 Okay, in order to calculate cos 45, what I do? Just hold the finger, whichever the angle you want, after closing that finger. Now you observe above fingers. Okay, for cos above fingers, you have to take. Got it? So, and now uh, above fingers, how many are there above fingers? There are two fingers above that 45 degrees, right? So, cos theta is equal to square root of above fingers by 2. 
if you take like this, what do we get? Square root of how many above fingers here? One, two fingers, right? Root 2 upon 2. So root 2 by root 2. 2 can be written as root 2 whole square or root 2 into root 2. Okay? Root 2, root 2 cancel. 1 upon root 2. Yes, we got cos 45 as 1 upon root 2. Take one more example. Suppose I want to calculate cos 0. Let us take cos 0 here. Cos 0 degrees. So, in order to calculate cos 0, for cos what we have to take? Just folding the 0 finger, that is little finger, 0 degrees angle finger. And then by taking the formula or square root of above fingers by 2, right? So, how many above finger? Just I am marking this. Let me erase this. And now. Now, you look at this. Just I am taking this finger. I am folding this finger. And you observe how many fingers are there above that angle. There are four fingers, right? So, square root of above fingers. Above fingers are four upon two, right? Square root of four is two, two upon two, which is equal to one. So, cos zero is equal to one. Like this, we can easily calculate the value of any angle with respect to 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Okay. Now, let us take one more example. Like uh, cos 90, I am calculating. Now, cos 90. So, this is our finger. So, you have to hold your thumb. Okay. Now, uh, how many above fingers? Are there any above fingers? So, there are no above fingers, right? So, there are zero. Can we say? Because there are, there are no means it is zero, right? R root of zero upon two. That is 0 by 2, which is equal to 0 we are getting. So, cos 90 is right 0. You check from your table. You will uh, you'll get the same answer. You can observe the same answer. Okay. Yes. And let us do. So, we got very good. We got cos theta. Right. And also sin theta. And how do we do for tan theta? Let us look at this. So, the position of the fingers is same. Right. And... Uh, what about the, the position of the fingers is same. Now, what I am doing is here, I am folding. Folding is also same, okay? Say, I want to calculate here tan 60, right? This finger. So, you are folding this finger, okay? Four finger. Four finger you are folding. If you fold that four finger, now you calculate Below fingers and as well as above fingers. Why you got tan theta as below fingers and above fingers? Come on, guess it. Yes. Yes, you are right. Like tan theta is equal to, we know, sin theta upon cos theta. Right? So, sin theta is what I said. Square root of below fingers, below fingers upon 2 by cos theta is square root of above fingers by 2. Yes. Above fingers by 2. Okay. 2, 2 cancel. So, square root of below fingers by square root of above fingers. You are getting the tan theta. Simple, no? Just by folding the finger and you are getting. Just by folding the finger. You are getting the above and below fingers. You can easily look at your hand. There is no. Uh, any kind of thing is not required. Because you have your, your hand in your exam. Right? Left hand that too. So, you can easily calculate, right? Ah, come on, look at this. So, tan 60, I am calculating now. So, square root of tan theta is equal to, what is the what, what is the uh, thing we are going to take? Square root of below fingers by above fingers, right? So, below fingers, how many are there? 1, 2, 3 below fingers of the, uh, of the, uh, no, of the calculated angle. So, we want to calculate the 60 degrees. So, for that below fingers are 1, 2, 3. Right? So, below fingers upon above fingers. How many above fingers? Only thumb. That is only one finger. Right? So, root 3 upon 1 is root 3. So, tan 60 we calculated. Right? This is not theta. Theta instead of theta we took here 60 degrees. Okay? Tan 60 is equal to square root of 3 by 1. That is tan 60 is equal to root 3. Let us take one example, one more example. Say, I want to calculate tan 30. Okay. So, I am folding this ring finger, right? If I fold the ring finger, so tan 
30 degrees I am calculating right. Here theta is equal to 30. Now square root of below fingers. How many below fingers? Only one finger right. And above fingers how many are there? 1, 2, 3. So one the square root of 1 upon 3 that is root of 1 upon root 3 that is 1 upon root 3. So tan theta is equal to 1 upon root 3. So like this we can easily calculate tan theta. Right. But uh, suppose I want to calculate cosec theta. I want to calculate cosec theta or I want to uh, I want to know uh, sec theta. Then what you do? Just you see you can observe we already calculated sine theta. Right. Now in this sine theta we got sine theta value you know. Say just we know sine theta and cosec theta both are reciprocals, right? So reciprocal. So what do we get? Just you reciprocal it, this one, just 2y square root of below fingers, 2y square root of below fingers gives cosec theta, right? Now I want to calculate cosec 45. Let me take that. Cosec 45 I am taking, okay? So how many below fingers? So cosec theta is equal to 2y below, below fingers, right? Square root of below fingers. So below fingers. So 2 upon, uh, how many below fingers here? There are 2 below fingers, right? So root of 2. So how much you will get? 2 by root 2. Root 2, this can be written as root 2 whole square, right? 2 can be. So 1 root 2, 1 root 2 cancel. You are getting a root 2. So cosecant, this is not cosecant theta, cosecant 45. Instead of theta, we took 45, right? So cosecant 45 is equal to root 2. In this way, we can calculate cosecant theta. And in the same way, we can also calculate sec theta. How do we calculate? Let us look at this. Now, you can observe here. We know cos theta cos theta and uh, sec theta are reciprocals, right? Are reciprocals. Reciprocals to E, reciprocal to E, both are reciprocals. So how do you say cos theta is equal to 1 by sec theta or sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta, right? And now, here you can observe cos theta is equal to square root of above fingers by 2. Sec theta is equal to, just you start with 2, just you reverse this fraction, okay? 2 upon square root of above fingers. Right. So 2 upon square root of. Now I am calculating cos 40, seek 45. Or otherwise I will take other, uh, other angle, not 45. We took for sine already 45. Let me take sine 60. Okay. Or 660. Sorry, not sine. 660. I want to calculate 660. Seek and 60. So 2 upon how many above fingers here? Only one, that is thumb, right? Only one finger, that is thumb only upon this. So two upon only one finger above this four finger, that is thumb, right? So root two by one. So how much you'll get? Only two. So six sixty is equal to two we are getting. Got it? So reciprocals also we can calculate for these standard angles. Uh, not only sine, cos and tan, the basic. We can also calculate the, what do you say? Reciprocals also. Can we calculate reciprocal now? Let us calculate. What is the reciprocal of tan theta? That is cot theta, right? So cot, cot now 30 I am taking. Cot 30 I am calculating, okay? Cot 30 degrees. Let us look at this. So square root of. So you what you do? You fold this finger. And if you hold this finger. How many below fingers? Only the little finger. That is 1 upon. And how many above fingers? 1, 2 and 3. Right? So 3. So this is root for whole thing. Okay? That is very important. You have to take uh, root for whole thing in the case of tan or cot. But in the previous cases, sin and cos, root is only for either below or above. Okay. For two, there is no root. That is very important thing in this. Generally, students do mistake in this part. Okay. 
Yes, be cautious uh, are when uh, you are taking the route. Okay, so good. Come on, look at this. So, cot 30 is equal to 1 upon root 3, right? So, cot 30 is 1 upon. So, below fingers by, below fingers only 1, by above fingers 3, 1 upon a root 3, okay? Below fingers by, above fingers. This is tan 30, right? We are taking cot 30. So, I, I uh, you have to reciprocalate, right? Sorry, we have to reciprocalate, right? So, what do we get? 3 upon 1, right? So, we are getting a root 3 upon 1. Okay, that is root 3. So, cot 30 is equal to root 3. Got it? A root of above fingers. Above fingers are 3. And below fingers are only 1. We are calculating 30. Above fingers 3 and below fingers for 30. Only 1, right? So, root 3, root 3 upon 1, which is equal to root 3. In this way, we can easily calculate all the trigonometric ratios of these standard angles from 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, all six trigonometric ratios. Okay. After this, I am going to teach you how to, uh, how, how do you know that which is the reciprocal of sine theta and cos theta. Reciprocals also we can easily calculate and we can, we know the identities. We know the different trigonometric identities. I am making one video for the next coming video. Thank you.